Good morning, everybody. Steve and I are at the Columbia National Wildlife Refuge. Today it's Sunday and it's March 24th and we're at the Frog Lake Trailhead. And we're gonna be doing a walk up the um, lake here a little bit. And we're gonna get up onto some of the basalt lava rocks and get a great view. And it's um, probably, what do you think, 45 degrees? About 45 degrees, it's just a slight little breeze. We're hearing lots of meadowlarks singing. Uh, we've seen a few marmots uh, closer a little bit north by the dam. So we're looking forward to having a great walk this morning. Happy to have you join us. We've done this trail once before, probably four or five years ago, and enjoyed it. It's probably um, earlier March or winter. We just talked to two other hikers who told us um, they've walked around the pond and they saw some violet swallows and some coots. And then they had also noticed a couple marmots up on that ridge behind us and we could see one. But uh, right now it's a little far to get a picture. But we're gonna keep our eye out for the marmots. I don't remember seeing them last time we were here. So that's really fun. The trail's well marked here with the sign, Frog Lake Trail. The average annual rainfall here at the refuge is only seven and a half inches, and little of that falls between May and October. The plants and animals have to adapt to a hot, dry summer and a cold winter. Most of the animals that live here have adapted to the heat by being nocturnal. Some of them live underground, in caves, or under rocks where the temperatures are more constant. The basalt cliffs all around us host lots of life, including raptors, bats, cliff swallows, rock wrens, cottontail rabbits, and rattlesnakes. Okay, from here we're gonna do the Mesa Loop, 1.3 miles. 
checked on the Merlin bird ID and those are some gulls. We have two kind ringneck gull and a California gull that we're hearing right now. We finished our loop on the mesa and we're heading back on to the section where we came up and um, it was a bit breezy up top but it's stopped now that we've gotten down a little bit. Lots of uh, meadow larks up there. What do you notice Steve? Lots of sagebrush. Sagebrush yeah. and uh, great views yeah. from up top. You could really get a, a close look at the columnar basalt. Anything else you noticed? Nope. We saw a few um, of the sandhill cranes. About 10 flew over. We're heading up the last little bit up to the parking lot and the area off to our left here there's a sign that it's closed from October 1st to March 1st and that's to protect the wintering birds. Okay so this is Steve reporting from the Frog Creek Trail here at the Columbia National Wildlife Refuge. Nice hike. Um, the trail's in great shape. There are some uh, informational kiosks along the way. Um, and the hike, the Frog Lake Trail isn't so exciting, but once you get up on top of the mesa, you've got some really good views of the rest of the wildlife refuge. Uh, saw some birds, some sandhill cranes, um, and five deer, probably muleys. Anyway, signing off from the Frog Creek Trail.